All right, one last thing with the letter E. There is an author called Eric Carl. Eric starts with the letter E and he writes lots of really fun kids books. And one of the kids books that he wrote, I brought to read today. It is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. So if you've already read this, then you can do like this. Yeah. It'll be a lot of fun for you to read. If you've even read it, it's just fun to, to listen to. So this is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. I like this book because there's lots of colors. light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Do you see the little egg? Just one little egg. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. See how he came through the hole? On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. Look at him climbing out of the pear. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but you can guess it. He was still hungry. You can see him climbing out of the three plums. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. One, two, three, four. But he was still hungry. You guessed it. On what day is it now? Friday. He ate through five oranges. But he was still hungry. Hungry. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, Swiss cheese, or one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and a slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. I think I would have a stomach ache if I ate all of that too. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. <laughs> Look at him. He ate a lot of food. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and He was a beautiful butterfly. Wow. 
So this is really a story about the life cycle of a caterpillar, of a butterfly. It starts as a little egg, then it, it becomes a caterpillar, and then he eats and eats and eats and eats. He builds a coco cocoon around himself for two weeks, and when he pops out, he's a butterfly. Isn't that amazing what God has made? Okay, so now I'm going to show you a craft that you can do. Mrs. Jones is going to do a craft with you so that you can maybe do this at home. So I have a piece of paper and I might need you to help me okay. um, help film. You can turn, uh, yeah, here, let's turn it this way. Okay, and you can back up a little, okay. I am going to be making um, a really cute caterpillar like this. And you can make it too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going, I brought, um, I brought three, three types of, how do I do this? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, okay, so I'm gonna show you I have three plates with three kinds of paint. So I just bought this paint at the Dollar Tree, okay? So I have blue, green, and red. And I put some blue on a plate. I put some green on a plate and some red on a plate. Um, so what we're going to do is you are going to take your palm Okay, I'm gonna use my daughter's and she's going to dip it in the orange paint. So just the palm, the green paint, I'm sorry. Just the palm. Okay, and you wanna try, it's hard to get it in the very middle, but you wanna get it in the very center of your hand. Okay, that's good. Okay. okay. So, and then she is going to put it on some paper. Oh, you know what you need to do? You also need to dip. She's going to dip her fingers in the blue ink. In the, not ink, I'm sorry, but the blue um, paint. Yeah. Try to get this one in there too. Yeah. Well, you don't have to do that one, but that's okay. Okay. And then she's going to put it, you know what? Um, let's start here. Wait, but yeah. Well, wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to see how I want to do this. Okay, do it like this. There you go. She's going to put it down on paper. And I'm gonna push, maybe you can have your mom or dad push your fingers down. Okay, go ahead and pick it up. Okay, now we're gonna do it again. Okay. And boys and girls, you're gonna do this three times. Okay, you're gonna do it three times right next to each other. Go ahead, Kate. But no, you're gonna put it right so that the green is right next to it. Yes. Okay. Can I lift right. up now? Mm -hmm. Lift up. Okay. And then she's going to do it again. And you're gonna put it right, right next to it. Okay. All right. All right, now. Okay, so now the next thing is to take, I have a glass that has just a circle flat bottom and I'm gonna dip it in the red paint and I'm going to put it right here. Like it's the caterpillar's head. Whoops, I need to do a little bit better. It's okay if you need to re-dip it again. Okay, All right. And I bought some, um, and you could do anything. You can cut out, uh, you can cut out little black, black eyes, you can cut out. I had some googly in the eyes that I found at the Dollar Tree. And um, 
I just put it on there, put it on his face on the red, watch. So you can do that. Um, you might have to wait for it to dry. Um, since the paint is wet and I just wanna show you how to do it, um, you can just put it on there. And then I cut out some black, um, just some, some white paper that I used a black marker on to make his, um, his little tentacles and glued them on there. So this is what it should look like when you're done, okay? Sort of using your hand prints and just a circle. This is how this one turned out. We just don't have tentacles on it yet. So anyway, have fun. Um, you can also do this, a really small one, using just your thumb prints for the green paint. Um, there's just all kinds of things you can do. So I hope you have lots of fun making caterpillars. Goodbye.